My time in Argentina came to an end as I crossed the border into Chile on Torres del Paine National Park. I thought El Chaltén couldn't get any prettier. Um, we've just driven down now to Chile and we're in Torres del Paine National Park. The view behind me is just absolutely stunning. And I feel like I keep saying the same thing, but every time I come to a new place, there's a better and better view. Looking forward to exploring this over the next few days. in Torres del Paine for three nights and we've got two hikes planned. Um, today is the first hike. It's another 22 kilometre hike uh, which should be relatively flat so um, I'm not anticipating it's that difficult. Um, the Torres del Paine mountains are behind me so hopefully we get some good views along the way. Pingo Vale hike requires you are accompanied by a qualified guide. It is therefore much quieter than the W and O hikes. Although the clouds restricted the views of the mountains, we had the trail to ourselves and enjoyed the undisturbed wilderness. We've done half of the hike today and we've stopped at a waterfall just for a quick water and snack break. It's absolutely stunning in here and just enjoying taking a few photographs in. Waterfalls always provide a great opportunity to decrease the shutter speed. As this area was shaded, I could use a shutter speed of half a second and keep the f-stop at around 8. Recent torrential rains meant the last part of the trail had been completely washed away. After an unsuccessful attempt to continue without a path, we turned back. So today we're doing the Torres Base hike. It's probably one of the most famous hikes in all of Patagonia. It's another 20 kilometer hike. It's going to be quite tough, but it's our last hike in Torres del Paine, so I'm really looking forward to getting up, and with the good weather, we should get great views today. Be careful what you wish for. Really sunny day today. And uh, yeah, I'm feeling the heat on this uphill section. As we continued to ascend the mountain, the terrain got steeper and much more rocky. The last hour of the hike was particularly challenging in the heat. Four and a half hours of hiking, I've made it to the Torres base and with the weather being so nice, the views are spectacular again. Um, we're going to chill out here for an hour and just take a load of photos. Um, but yeah, the hike was well worth the, the views that I've got just now. The views at the top were excellent, with the turquoise lake below the massive granite peaks. 
In an attempt to better frame my photos, I try to use rocks in the foreground. After my brief visit to Torres del Paine, it was time to move north to Porto Varas. Welcome to Porto Varas in the Chilean Lake District. This area is famous for both lakes and volcanoes, one of which you can see behind me. We're going to spend the next few days exploring the region. Um, the weather forecast isn't great for the next few days, so I'm not sure I'll get great views off of volcanoes and some of the waterfalls we're going to visit, but hopefully um, it'll be fun anyway. I'm here at the Peter Hugh Rapids and you can see behind me water crashing over the volcanic rock. Ordinarily behind me you'd also be able to see a volcano but it's unfortunately a bit cloudy and rainy today to see that. Um, the water colour here is also amazing so I'll try and get a few good shots up. The weather was miserable for most of our time in Puerto Varas, with low cloud and rain hiding the views, it was impossible to take any photographs. So we're halfway up to the Cerno volcano just now, and as expected, the weather was absolutely terrible. Um, we're basically in the clouds right now, which is what you can see behind me. I'm at Puerto Montt airport, and unfortunately it's the end of my time in Patagonia. It's been a great time here, but looking forward to the next destination.